NBC 10 News at 5. Hundreds of Temple students hoping to make a good impression on potential employers at this job fair today. An estimated 700 students from Temple's Fox School of Business met and networked with 70 employers. Temple says that's the largest number of employers they've had at any spring event, which means the job outlook for graduating students could be very promising. And if you are looking for a job right now, here's some encouraging news on the job front. The number of job postings are increasing. According to the online job search engine Simply Hired, postings rose more than 50% last year over 2009, and they increased almost 70% in December 2010 over the previous year. So the question is, what kind of jobs are being posted? What sectors are hiring? Here with the answers is HR expert and author Kim Huggins. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Tracy. So there's definitely jobs out there. Give us yes. some encouraging news, really? Yeah, things are looking good. I mean, obviously, you know, unemployment is still higher than we'd like it to be, mm -hmm. but we're starting to see some really positive indicators and trends. In fact, you know, in the healthcare industry and education in the Philadelphia region, there are lots of jobs available. So those are really sectors that are starting to pick up. Yes. And what kinds of jobs are we talking about? Um, pretty broad spectrum in healthcare. Um, you know, we have organizations like Jefferson, Mainline Health, CHOP, that are all hiring anywhere from administrative positions, a lot of therapist types of positions, physical therapy, speech ther therapy, occupational therapy, nursing, a lot of nursing jobs, evening and weekends in particular. So there's quite, runs quite the gamut in the healthcare industry as far as what's available. We've been trying for more than a year now to help so many people get back to mm -hmm. work, improving their resumes. And a lot of people think that they get, they have a great resume, they get the interview, and then it's a piece of cake, they're in the door. But being the expert that you are, I'm guessing you can tell me that people still make some mistakes and they blow a job opportunity in the interview. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> interviewing, I could tell yeah. you lots of stories about interviewing. Interviewing <laughs> is always a challenge. Um, you really have to be very well prepared, know as much as you can about the job that you're interviewing for and do some follow-up once you walk out the door that's not the end of your you know work related to trying to get that job tell me some of the mistakes let me in on some of the secrets <laughs> well I know you're gonna be talking about one soon and that's dress code I think people think they have that down but they don't do yeah, that no I've seen some major and I think particularly now as a lot of work environments are getting more casual um, people assume that that means just because that work environment is casual you can show up to the interview more casual than you really should no you show up like you want the job exactly right yeah great. so thank that's one big mistake mm -hmm. yeah thank you so much no Thanks problem for being here I appreciate it and speaking of getting a job, we're talking about that. You need to really look great for the interview, right? But hello, you're unemployed. Maybe you can't afford to spend that much on a new suit or an outfit. So what's your best wardrobe move? Well, our Chief Chica Liliana Vasquez has the answers next.